what's good, what's good out there world? Welcome to this edition of Smoking and Baking with Trademark. And I'm coming back at you with another box cake pack. And I'm going to be doing for you today a two layer French vanilla cake. I'm also going to do a homemade, made from scratch, raspberry buttercream icing. Now, the half of cake, you just really need to start off with a box of cake. And today, I'm going to be using this Betty Crocker Super Moist French Vanilla Cake Mix. And then, I'm just going to add a little, take a little, and put some little extra things up in here to make this cake taste just like it's homemade, like in a cake. So, let's get you these ingredients I'm going to be using to make this box cake French Vanilla Half Cake. And again, I'm also going to be doing a homemade, made from scratch, uh, uh, raspberry buttercream ice. So let's get to it. So here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make this uh, French vanilla two-layer cake. And again, this is going to be a hack. So here are the ingredients that we're going to be using. And remember, I said we're going to be adding and taking away and doing a lot of substituting. So the box actually called for three eggs. We're going to use four eggs and we're going to still use them at room temperature. The box also calls for a half a cup of vegetable oil. We want to use one cup of unsalted butter and this is actually two sticks. And we're going to use, we're going to add this 3.4 ounce um, package of French vanilla instant jello pudding. And we're going to be using this uh, super moist French vanilla cake mix by Betty Crocker. If you want to use another brand, you can. And we're going to be substituting this milk here for water. And this is 2% milk. I'm going to be using my hand mixer today. I got my mixing bowl. And I got two 9-inch round pans. And I also have some pan baking spray. So again, here are the ingredients and the utensils I'm going to be using to make this French vanilla hot cake. And let's get to it. So now let's get to preparing this cake. So we're going to use the one box of this uh, Betty Crocker French vanilla cake mix. That one is going to happen. So right here I'm going to add in four eggs and like I said if you want to use five you can. And right here I have my melted butter and this is like one cup. So we're using this in place of the uh, water, I mean the oil. milk. We're using one cup of milk instead of one cup of water. So right here, I got my hand mixer. Put this in the bag. So now let's get the batter into the baking pans. And we want to try to get the pans as even as possible. We also want to spread the batter around as even as possible. And we're also going to shake 
and tap the pans on the table so we can just make sure we don't have no air pockets in our cake. I already preheated my oven to 325 degrees. We're going to still follow the directions on the cake and leave the cake in there like for 25 to 29 minutes. Now that the cake is done, I'm going to go ahead and hook up this raspberry buttercream frosting and ingredients are as follows. So here are the ingredients I'm going to be using to make this homemade buttercream raspberry frosting. So back here, this is the uh, raspberry powder I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be using some powdered sugar, some unsalted butter. I'm going to try something new and I'm going to use some orange extract. And I'm also going to be using some heavy whipping cream and a little bit of salt. I don't have it here on the display table, but I will be using some salt. And I'm going to be using my stand mixer with the paddle attachment. Now, let's get to it. So, I already have four sticks of unsalted butter uh, in my stand mixer. And I'm just going to put this down and just give it a little quick mix on low. And then while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and add in one fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add in one tablespoon of orange extract. Now you can use vanilla, like I said, I'm just trying to do something different. So now I'm going to start adding my powdered sugar. And I'm just going to add in this a little bit at a time. And let that mix a little bit. Now, I want to be using two-thirds of my heavy whipping cream, but I'm just going to add a little bit in now to, like, kill some of that smoke that's going around from the powder. Now, I'm going to be using two pounds of, of this powdered sugar in all. And again, I'm going to just add a little bit of the whipping cream. So now we got this to uh, mix. Everything is mixed thoroughly. And I'm gonna, uh, before I add my raspberry in there, I'm gonna once again go down to the sides and make sure everything is scraped down into the bowl. So now I'm going to add this is one fourth cup of the raspberry fruit powder, and we're just gonna throw that on in there. And I'm going to add the remaining of the two-third cups of whipping cream. But we're going to add that gradually. And this is going to give it that nice raspberry color. Now mixing it with the orange extract with this raspberry. So I guess it's kind of like an orange raspberry uh, homemade frosting. So now I'm going to take it off from the uh, stand mixer and I'm going to continue mixing it by hand. So 
So now it's nice and mixed. And so now, let's get this on the cake. <laughs> 